Yes. Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that. Uh, today we're doing something a bit different. Now what do you do if you have one of these 50cc wonderful things and you've got the need for speed? Now, first thing to do is to blow the tyres up to about 80 psi, but we're not going to do that. We're going to try and de that wagon going past. We're going to try and de-restrict it. Now this is a Euro 4 model so it's a bit harder to de-restrict and you can't always fully de-restrict them unless you get a new CDI slash ECU, ECM, whatever you want to call it um, and or, or remap it basically which I haven't got the facility to do. So I'm going to bypass what I can and I saw yeah to do that. Right, so the first thing to do before we do anything else is going to be we're going to uh, do a quick turn. So anyway, we're going to take this out, which as you can see, I've three loose from these. And then that just lifts out. So we'll take that off. And then uh, we'll just put that down. And as you can see by this carb, normally, on the other GY6 before it was Euro 4 and what have you. Just turn the radio down a bit. And the G93. Um, you could take this off and you pull that up and there would be a stop which stopped the slide from raising. These work in a different way, these are electronically controlled. So if you see these pipes there, that one, and there's another one here, there, now what they do is they limit the power by basically they've got solenoids in them and they let air into the carb into this to release the vacuum from it pulling the slide up instead so first thing to do is to stop it from doing that i don't want to pull this off sometimes you don't have to squeeze that in but they usually just pull off i want to block that now that is um a bb from one of them little chabby guns and you can force that up the end of there and it blocks it off but you've got to push it in for far enough just use the carb to do that right, so as you can see it looks like a snake that's just eating them a rat and then that'll go all the way on there and that one is blocked off and you want to get this clip back over there i should have pulled that clip off before i put the bb down it but that would have been sensible and i'm not sensible so i'm going to put that back on i need to want to do that and then i'm going to do the same with this one this this one here and uh, there's a little clip you can see it you see it there i'm asking you like you're going to answer me but uh, we're going to pull that off and do the same thing so i'm going to block them two off and then that's the carb part of it de restrict it away as much as you can in there. and then put that one back on and that one is back on and clipped on properly now this isn't going to de restrict it top speed it's just going to make it get there a little bit faster it's just going to de restrict the the restricted that restricts the power as such not the gearing or the electronic limiter so now we're going to have a look at if we can do that some you can some you can't ecm electronic carb module whatever they, they're labeled with different things but it's a dull auto unit you can get a de-restricted one and you just plug that in it'll do pretty much all of this uh but they're about 150 quid we're gonna go is behind the variator now there's loads of little eight milli bolts to take out so i'm just going to pull them out and then i'll take that off right so all the bolts are out and this one does just pull off but if they don't just pull off you just push the kickstart down and it pushes it off for you um now in here sometimes you have a pickup on the rear variator the rear puller which is a lives in here uh, no signs of that on this one uh, and that's the speed uh, well it picks up the speed and sometimes you also have a little washer in there but that isn't used on euro fours unless they're restricted to 25 kilometers an hour which isn't in england um, and you just pause this off and take that washer off uh, now, if it did have a speed governor on it, you just unplug it because the ECU needs a speed reading and sometimes they take it from direct from the speedo and sometimes they take it from the back wheel. Um, not seeing it on this one though. Oh yeah, someone's already done away with it. It went there 
uh, and I've just seen that there is a plug which it plugged into. So this has already been de-restricted for full speed, but it'll just take ages to get there. But that's what you need to do. Um, picks up off this here. That's the pickup for the speed. And that's all there is to it really. So then you just put it back together and then you can go like a hundred miles an hour off a cliff. Uh, and this is a sensible video for a change or sensible-ish. I know to actually do something that could be useful to someone which is going against the grain a bit, but I'll post it anyway. If you check out my other videos, you'll see what I mean. They're just stupid um, and for a laugh, mostly. But yeah, don't forget to check out the other videos if you're, if you're that way inclined.